Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Green Lamb and today I have my December favorites. It's a little bit later, but last week of having New Year's and all that, I just kind of had so many videos that I just wanted to prolong this and put it up later so there wasn't a flurry of activity um, all in one section of the week. So basically my December favorites, if I'm looking down or over, I'm looking at my notebook where I have all my favorites written down. So we're just going to get into it because I have quite a few favorites for the month of December. So the first favorite I have is food. I usually forget to keep food packages and stuff like that around. Um, so it's actually new that I have a food favorite. But it is um, Lindor's Irresistibly Smooth Sea Salt Chocolate. And this stuff is so good. Um, I usually love the like pretty... I like a, quite a few Lindor types. Um, I usually only have them around the holidays. And I got to try a sea salt one and then me and my friend after Christmas were in the mall and we saw sea salt ones and we were so excited. So we both decided to pick up a box of sea salt Lindors and they were really good. I really like them because they're kind of like, if you've had the original Lindors with the red packaging, they're kind of like that. But they just are a little bit saltier and a little bit like sweeter. Um, so I really enjoyed them and it's one of my favorites. Definitely going to be looking for them next holiday. I believe they're brand new or at least they're new I think in Canada because I've never seen them before. But maybe that could just be me. I've been, I heard from my friend they were new, but yeah, I don't know if she's on authority saying that, so who knows. And then we're moving on to beauty and body favorites. My first beauty favorite is the Body Shop Spa the World Dead Sea Salt Scrub. In the most recent months, I've been very obsessed with body scrubs. I've just been liking them. Um, they just like, I just, they, I find them really relaxing. And this one is no exception. The Spa the World collection is such calming scents. Like, Literally, if I am sitting at my desk and I'm kind of getting stressed out, I could just open one of these and like the scent will waft into the air. Kind of like a calming candle, I would say, but not a candle and not flammable because, you know, I have a lot of books in here, probably wouldn't be very safe. But this is basically what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's probably not going to show up that great on camera. But basically, this one is a little bit different than a common body scrub because you're supposed to put it on um, after your skin's wet instead of before your skin's wet. I love this smell. I will definitely be using this all throughout the winter because this is supposed to like get rid of um, like dead skin like a like a regular scrub but this one I say is more powerful and it's probably better for me to be using in the winter. My second favorite is one that was actually in my favorites in November but I decided to re-include it because I've actually just started using it in November and I put it in but I've been really really enjoying it this month and that is a Jergens moisturizer for wet skin and this is with coconut oil. And I've been really enjoying this stuff. I've actually used, I think, about this, like, this much down to here. Um, this stuff basically is a moisturizer that you don't have to be, like, your skin can still be wet. So it sticks to the moisture instead of having to dry and then put on moisturizer. But I'm really enjoying this. I really like the scent. It lingers. And I really like the smell of, like, coconut. So I really like, like, the next morning, like, if I shower the night before, the next morning I could still smell the moisturizer rather than usual moisturizers where the smell kind of dies and goes away. Like... If I like a scent, I want it to linger at least a bit, and some moisturizers just don't do that. So I really like this because it saves me time, and it smells really good. My third and last beauty slash body favorite is a YSL lipstick. Um, these lipsticks are quite pricey, but I decide to splurge around Black Friday time, so I've been using it for quite a while. Um, and my lip products, like, basically my lip product is my one makeup splurge item like other items I kind of try to cut costs on I try not to to find good deals or stuff so I can spend more on my lip products um, because that's my favorite makeup that's basically the reason why I wear makeup is to wear lip products because I'm really pale and I can't pull it off without having some foundation or something on um, and this is the color I hope you guys can see that so this is a lipstick this is what it looks like and then this is a swatch of what it actually looks like and I really enjoy this color. Um, and I really like it. It stays on a long time, which I really enjoy because I'm um, being a more high quality lipstick. And I've just been really enjoying the lipstick in general. Now for TV shows. I didn't read too many books in December because I did have exams and then holiday time. But after I finished, like I had three exams in a row and I had like three days off. And I just kind of like after my third exam in a row, that rest of the day I kind of marathon TV and stuff because stuff like that like I just can't read sometimes with exams because sometimes well not sometimes usually I believe that if I'm reading something I'm gonna remember the plot and not the stuff that I'm supposed to be remembering so I kind of have that scare and I don't really want to test out that theory because exams are pretty weighty especially in university so basically the shows I've been watching I have a few that I've been continuing watching for at the months 
one of that being Castle. At the beginning of December, I was on season four. I was partway through it. And now I'm partway through season six. Uh, and I've been really enjoying this. Um, I watched quite a lot of this in December because this is the show I was marathoning. And then I'm still continuing to watch Dallas. This is the older um, one, not the reboot. And this is season four, and I'm almost finished season four. I think I have four episodes left. I didn't watch too much of this in December because I've been more obsessed with Castle and more fast-paced dramas, I guess. But I'm going to be finishing the season for sure in January because I want to move on to season five. And the third show I've been watching is The Goldbergs, and this is the first season of it. I received the show for Christmas, and I'm really enjoying it. It really reminds me of The Middle, um, but very different, obviously. But that kind of family comedy vibe, and I'm really enjoying it. I finished the first season, de first season in December, and I started a little bit of the second season. And I'm not going to be able to catch up to the third season because it's already aired and I have no way to watch it because uh, I don't like watching stuff online, so I'm going to have to wait a while, but I loved it. I watched basically the first season in less than a week. It was so good. Um, and then the other shows I've been watching are The Middle. I really love the holiday episodes. Some TV shows also I didn't include in this list because I didn't watch any of the episodes in December, like The Grinder. I missed the December episode and there was only one, so like stuff like that. Um, two Broke Girls was pretty good in December. I think they only had two episodes. Scream Queens, the finale was really good. It wrapped up everything. I have no more, well, like, besides the last part of the ending, like, obviously they have some kind of, like, twist. But I really liked how it wrapped up. Um, the creator said that the killer, you can trace it back. Like, it's not some outlander, outlander, outlandish um, thing. Like, it was a very well put together finale, and I was very satisfied with it. And I really hope it comes back for a season two. Um, Finding Carter got really good in the second half of the um, second... The second half of the second half of the second second season? I believe that was the second season, it's not the third. It hasn't been renewed yet, so technically I just watched the finale, but I really hope it gets renewed because I really do enjoy that. It's not like my favorite show on the land, but it's really entertaining. And if it keeps up the pace it's been going, I'd like to watch Another more. Another show I've been watching is Blood and Oil, and it wrapped up, and it's not likely to be renewed. I really hope it is renewed, but it doesn't look likely at all because the ratings weren't the best. Um, and it, was in, it got cut down from 13 episodes to 10, which is why I don't think I like the finale as much. Um, it was very, not only was it a holiday episode, which holiday episodes I find can be really good, especially around the holidays. I really like them. Um, but this one was kind of like, everything wrapped up perfectly. And I didn't like that. Like, it was so much drama the last few episodes leading up to it. And I was like, oh, we're going to solve this, plink. We're going to solve this, plink. And there was like no intrigue or anything. Like, I get they wanted us to have like a solid ending, but it kind of seemed like a letdown because it didn't have anything to give. Like, it was just kind of like a boring episode. So I wasn't too pleased with that, which kind of dampened my mood on the show. But if it did get picked up, I would definitely continue watching. And then the last show I've been watching is The Challenge Bloodlines. Now, I watched a, quite a few seasons of this. The first season I saw was Fresh Meat. I believe it was Fresh Meat 1. And I love this show. It's very entertaining. It's an MTV reality show. And i just been watching the heck out of it. Um, it's my one of my favorite programs to watch in the week because it gets me like... It's something, like, it's so, like, the last few episodes have been, like, continuations of each other, so I really want to see the next one. If anybody's watching it, let's discuss in the comments, because the only person that's watching it with me is my sister, and she usually falls asleep halfway through, so she doesn't see it. So, you know, <laughs> I don't have anybody to discuss with. And then music I've been liking, not too much music, mostly Christmas music. My parents play an assortment of Christmas music within the house during the holidays, because we have, like, a Christmas village out and stuff like that. So even when they're gone and like I'm walking around the house, it's always there. The clock plays Christmas music. It's all around me. And I've been listening to a few songs on my iPhone. And then a few, like with that, it was kind of weird because I've been listening to um, a lot of music in different languages, such as Una Parola and Le Essenziale by Marco Mangoni, and Papa Ute by Stromae. Um, OMG by Usher and Call Me Maybe were two other songs I was very obsessed with within this month. And then obviously after reflecting back, it's good to look forward. I am looking forward to the new year and working on my new goals. Um, I also have school. It started um, this past Tuesday technically, but I my class was canceled on Tuesday, so I started Wednesday. Um, so I'm looking forward to, you know, working hard at that. And yeah, that's basically it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.